Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a requested video on like my Christmas budget, how I budget for Christmas, how I you know fit it all in. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you obviously know that I follow the organized Christmas plan. I have a planner, I have a plan of attack every week on Sunday. I get some new tasks to complete to really deep clean my house, evaluate gifts and gift givings and things like that, purchasing gifts, planning meals, planning food, um, you know, just all the things that consume you at Christmas time. So for us, we start thinking about Christmas on December 26th for the next year. And I have found that over the years, this works very well for me. You know, after Christmas, there's tons of sales and we just pick things up as they allow. Um, you know, when we get, we have a, we have an irregular based income. So our income can vary widely. And the months that we meet our minimum goal, we have extra money to set aside for Christmas. And it basically just goes into an account and as we need it, we use it. Uh, if we see a great deal, if there's some sort of awesome sale, if we see something that we can tell is going to be a harder to find gift come closer to Christmas, we grab it. Uh, there are different times of year that, you know, you can get really good deals. Um, so, you know, always after the end of the season, you can get good deals on like snow gear or swim gear or anything like that you know i already got goggles and stuff like that for the following year because they were like 70 percent off how can you beat that um so you know we put money aside when we can uh you know when we meet our base pay and it just kind of accumulates and typically it doesn't accumulate to be too much because we're always buying stuff and you know for me it's easy to buy like our kids teachers our bus drivers our uh, specials and specialists those type of people in the school it's easy to buy those even if you just take each week and you buy a five dollar target gift card or a five dollar Dunkin Donuts gift card to set aside to give to those type of people then you're golden when it comes time to Christmas and you can just plop them in envelopes and be done with it and we do that every time we go to Target I buy a five dollar gift card and I put it aside and you know it may come in the end that oh look we have enough gift cards for all of the bus drivers and this person and that person and then I can just use those five dollar gift cards for you know family members or whatever uh, and purchase something so we do that you know five dollars a, a paycheck basically you don't feel it in your budget and you're really ahead of yourself and for us we get paid every other week so we have 26 $5 gift cards. Typically we have three-ish teachers, we have two bus drivers, we have, you know, like four or five specials, and then we have some specialists. So there's, you know, a few gift cards there, and then typically we can take the money and, you know, get those cousins that you don't see as much, where you don't spend as much on them, we can get their gift done with with that money. So that's one little way we save. We also do the uh, penny challenge. We've done the dollar challenge. We've done all of those challenges to help pay for Christmas. And they do help. They really, really do. And even if you can't put aside the one, two, three, four until you get to the 50s and whatever, even if you can't manage to do that, even if you're just putting aside a little bit, even if it's five bucks, 10 bucks a week, it's going to add up quicker than you think for the end of the year. And, you know, if you see things on sale, grab them. If you see something, it's a great deal and you think, oh, my God, so and so would love this. Grab it. Like it's it doesn't matter when you Christmas shop. You're going to give the gift at Christmas time. They don't know. They don't care when you shop. So. You know, those are just some little things we do. And then as it gets closer to Christmas, you know, around August, I typically really start thinking about Christmas. So by August, the Target toy clearances, the Kmart toy clearances, all these toy clearances are over. So I know what I'm going to get for super deep discount. And I kind of evaluate what I have. And I put things aside for what I'm actually giving my kids, what I'm not giving my kids. And now I have three of my four kids' birthdays are within a month of between September 1st and October 4th. So I'll also set aside their birthday gifts. So then now I know what they've gotten for their birthday. Typically, if we're going to have a party, we've had a party. I know what they're getting from there, and I really start working on their wish list. 
we have done wish lists at Toys R Us, at Target, and now we are doing a new wish list this year. So Toys R Us worked really great for many years. People could get it, it took it off, there's no issues. Target list, people have a really hard time accessing them for whatever reason, anytime I've done it. So this year I actually decided to go on Elfster. We used Elfster last year for my family's gift exchange. I've used Elfster in some other groups. And it's just uh, a little website that basically helps you do gift exchanges, um, elfster.com. And, but what the cool thing with this is you can put wish lists. So like, this is Eliana's wish list. So my family can go through and see all the things that she wants and they can decide if they want to buy them. They can mark if they've bought them. And then that way they're not tied to just shopping at Target or just shopping at Toys R Us, as well as the kids aren't tied to just making a wish list from Toys R Us, uh, Target, you know, things like that. So the kids have made their list. Um, so now we kind of know what they want and I can already tell what's going to be the big things that they want. And I make my list. I make my list of things that are like must buys. So I use organizedchristmas.com and I use the gift ideas planner and you can see it here. And this has like their birthday, their age, their size and clothing, what they're into, favorite colors, and then the ideas that you want. So Ellie just wants a baby doll bed. That's her big gift. That's the main thing that she wants. Casey has said that he wants a 2DS, which I know right now are on price cut for $99.99. Skylanders for the 3DS, which is $69.99. And then he really wants some more Duplo blocks. He really likes those. He does well with those. Um, Trevor, he wants the Minecraft Story Mode game, which hasn't been released yet, but I know that that's $30. Xbox Live for one year is $59.99 iTunes gift cards and Super Smash Brothers, which is $39.99. So I know these full prices right now. Right now, I know that that, that bed will go on sale. It will go on sale 30, 40, 50% off at Toys R Us before Christmas. I know that the, I think that the 2DSs might come out with like a gift card promotion. I'm debating if I want to pull the trigger now and get the DS because it's $99.99. Skylanders $69.99. I truly believe that the Skylanders will go on sale just like the Infinities and the Skylanders did last year on Black Friday for about $40. I think it's going to be the same thing this year. Um, Dupo blocks, I know that there will be sales on them. Uh, the Minecraft story mode, I'm hoping that that's going to be an Amazon lightning deal. You know, if you shop smart, you shop sales, you kind of know what's going to go on sale. Um, it's just a matter of having the patience to wait for it. Xbox Live always goes on sale don't pay full price for it. You can get it for like $35 for a year, typically on like the deal sites, you know, just really follow all those like deal sites on Facebook because they really release a ton of deals and you have to be quick. You have to be able to get it right then and there, but get it. Excuse me. Um, iTunes gift cards. I know these always go on sale on Target and Best Buy and places like that. And Super Smash Bros. I'm hoping will go on sale at... Amazon. And then Aubrey also has a list, which is shown some marker maker, some bakery tools, a Kindle Fire. I know the Kindle Fire is $49.99. I do not think that it's going to go on sale much more. Maybe like a gift card promotion or something like that, but I truly don't think that that one's going to go on sale. I know the marker maker will, and I just have to figure out what I want for baking tools because American Girl released a set through Williams and Sonoma. I think that's who it is. Maybe it's the other one, one of the high end places. Um, and you know, she said she wanted. She said she wanted a Girl Scout Easy Bake Oven, and I said no. And then we saw that come out. And I'm like, well, that's something that's better because it's quality items. So we have to figure out, you know, what exactly she wants. Still, my mom. I know she wants an Astros, Alex and Ani, a 20 by 20 frame, and some Bath and Body Works candles. And then here I put all the other people that we have to buy for, and I put the price. So I put, you know, my brother, my cousin, um, my cousin's boyfriend's kids. Um, our gift exchanges that we're doing. And then down here I put um, school people. And then here is, you know, other stuff. So Christmas cards. Um, I've already bought a set on Shutterfly. I know I bought some last year on clearance at Target and that's gonna have to be it. I'm gonna have to print a picture for the ones that we got and that's it. I'm not gonna go and go crazy on Christmas cards. You don't have to go and give everyone you've ever met a Christmas card. We have slowly over the years tuned it down to really only truly family and close friends. And even then family, it's only family that we talk to on a regular basis. Wrapping paper, I know I'm good on. I looked the other day. I need to check my stockpile for tape and bag and tissues and tags. Um, I have our Christmas tree and our decor at $150 this year. Our tree is typically $65. 
Um, so the rest of that is, you know, for decor, just because you want to get a few things every year, or you see some things, or you want to add some things to your Christmas, you know, area, whatever. And then the next things I have are Thanksgiving meal disposables, Christmas Eve meal disposables, and Christmas Day meal disposables. Um, I try and put our meals into our food budget. Uh, typically for Christmas and Thanksgiving, yes, we are making a big meal and it's an expensive meal, but typically that has leftovers that last for a few more meals as well. So I try to put that into our grocery budget so that it doesn't affect our Christmas budget. Um, and I only have a few things for my kids now, yes, but these are like the main things that I need to find a deal on. You know, Aubrey, I know she wants a chocolate pen and stuff like that. So basically what I do is anything that I know that I'm going to want to get, I put in my Amazon cart. I find Amazon to be a really great place to shop. They often lower their prices. They do the lightning deals. Um, just really good sales that they get. And I like too that if you do perk or swag bucks or Ibotta or any of those things, you can kind of cash out for Amazon gift cards and Target gift cards, which can help you pay for these things. So my goal this year is I am going to go and I'm going to put the hot items in layaway. That way, if they don't go on sale, I have them. I know that I'm not going to be running around like crazy or paying super high prices for them. Then as sales go on, if you make a layaway at Toys R Us, which I recommend, you can go in one time and get an item price adjusted. Um, so, you know, if there's a good sale that week, get it price adjusted. Last year, it ended up being that I took my layaway out the week of Black Friday because they, they started doing their Black Friday prices and they were able to adjust down all the things that I had in my layaway to the prices and a majority of them were and I ended up not owing a payment, like my last payment, which was a bigger payment. Um, so I typically do that and then I just stock the sites. I stock the deal sites every day. I'm ready to hop in my car and go grab something if I want. You know, tons of store do tons of stores do where you can pick up an item in store after you order it online. I love that. Tons of places do free shipping. Don't ever pay for shipping if you don't, you know, if you if you can't. Every Sunday morning, check the ads. Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, check all those places because they're often doing these little week-long deals for something. And I guarantee you that you can slowly chip away at your list and get everything that you need. And I'm talking kids. You know, Target has great things for families. And in all honesty, I normally can finish up my mom on Black Friday. They normally do great sales on Black Friday. The weeks, you know, after Black Friday, they typically do really, really good. We go out on Black Friday, not because we have to. Like, you can typically get everything online. Like, last year I got every single thing that I wanted online before Black Friday, like the week before Black Friday. So you don't necessarily have to go out there because I'm just not one to go and, like, deal with the craziness for, like, to save a little bit of money. And, you know, look at what you're buying on Black Friday. A lot of times the stuff that they're releasing is a limited Black Friday edition of something and it's typically a cheap piece of crap sometimes. You know, all those like tablets of brands you've never heard of and stuff like that. It's typically cheap stuff that will break pretty quickly. So um, that's how we do it. You know, a little bit each paycheck just gets set aside and now we are in crunch time. So now it is the middle of October and we are truly working on just really not spending anything. Everything pretty much goes to Christmas now um, besides, you know, our bills and saving and stuff like that. And it works. That's what works for us. You know, it may not work for people. Some people may need to have that $25 that they set aside every week because they need to feel that that's what they're doing. And we've done that in the past. And then we've ended up with a ton of money left over. And then we went and spent it on stuff that we didn't necessarily need. But because we had Christmas money left in the budget, we just went and spent it and bought extra stuff that we didn't, you know, the, the kids didn't need more stuff. We're really trying to tune in the spending. You know, we were doing carnival Christmases for years and years and years, and the kids just never got to play with everything. So we're really trying to focus on what they ask for and also what they ask for and will they actually play with it. So like Aubrey wants that for real unicorn. And I said, no, it's a $100 motorized stuffed animal that she will never play with. It will sit in that playroom and it will collect dust and I'm not doing it anymore. Same thing with the Girl Scout Easy Bake Oven. I tried to deter her from that and find something that she would really use, like some real baking supplies. And I told her before we even saw the American Girl stuff, let's get you some real baking stuff, an apron, 
you know, your own utensils and you can put it in your own little container and it's only yours to play with whenever you want to do it. You know, she's eight, she's getting responsible enough that I can stand in the kitchen and watch her and, you know, advise her like if she's going to get burnt or something, but she can pretty much handle it by herself, making something from a recipe and things like that. So, um, you know, it's not rocket science by any means, but it's just what works for us. And, you know, I think about Christmas a lot. i plan around it a lot and you know make sure that I'm making time to be able to go and shop and things like that thankfully three of my four kids are in school now so I can take Ellie and I can go out and she's three she doesn't even understand what I'm doing um and we can get shopping done we are checking the sales all the time and my kids are really good in stores and they know if I say all right guys let's go let's get in the car they go and get in the car we go get whatever we need um and it works and just you know be smart don't pay full price for anything and even like there like for us we are going to set aside every single thing from perk and swag bucks and all that stuff and try to pay as little as possible uh price match things at target and use my gift cards my hope is that i can get everything on sale and i can pay for half of it with my perk and swag buck money that's my goal for christmas it's to you know do that and see how much money i can truly save and really come in under budget for Christmas. So um, that's just a little bit about that. I hope it was informative for you guys and we will see you guys very soon. Bye.